Hi, I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and I'm going to show you how to clean your fake jewelry. First off, if you have jewelry that is not real sterling silver, you don't want to let this metal come in contact with real metal. You don't want to let fake metal come in contact with real metal when you're storing your jewelry or when you have it lying around because there's something weird that happens or some strange chemical reaction that causes the fake metal to chip and you'll have like a greenish color underneath you know usually if it's fake metal then it's painted metal the paint will chip off and there's some weird reaction that happens between real metals and fake metals I see it all the time in my jewelry box and I figured out if I don't let the metals touch each other then that won't happen so that being said if you just have a piece of jewelry that's a little bit dirty and it's a fake you know costume jewelry or whatever you want to just grab some mild dish soap like this you know just a little bit into a bowl add some water and don't ever let your fake jewelry just sit because this will chip the paint off most fake jewelry is painted so let it move it around in there a little bit you may want to work out the certain spots of it if you know if there's one particular stain that you're trying to get use your fingers and kind of work it and after you've washed it really well in the soap you want to rinse it completely dry or not dry rinse the bubbles completely off <laughs> It would be nice if you could rinse things completely dry, but I guess that doesn't happen here on Earth. Maybe in an alternate universe. Let this um, sit out and let it dry completely, and you want it to dry as soon as possible. That way it's not going to rust, it's not going to tarnish, and things like that. So wipe it off a little bit. Let it dry completely before you put it away. I'm Rachel Yatuzis, and that is how you clean artificial jewelry.